good morning everyone welcome to my channel and today we are going to learn how to install eclipse ide okay and how to run first java program in the eclipse okay so first step is that we should go online okay so remember you must have the stable internet connection okay so go online and on google you have to search download eclipse okay for windows 11 search for download eclipse for windows 11 right and then it will show you the first link of eclipse.org okay it is the official website of the eclipse ide so click on this first link eclipse ide for java developer okay and then See, on the right side, we have the option, right? Download x86 underscore 64, right? So, click on that. Again, click on this download button. See, on the right side panel, our Eclipse downloading it started, okay? And it will take 4 to 5 minutes. okay so finally our eclipse is downloaded successfully okay so you can just check the file here show in folder and do right click on that and click on run as admin okay run as administrator then it will display one alert box on that alert box please click on the yes it took near about 10 minutes okay to download eclipse in my system so please uh, try to get good internet connection okay else you will face a lot of issues now here in this window you have to click on the eclipse ide for enterprise java okay and web development so click on this then now see it is showing that uh, the java version which uh, which uh, got by eclipse okay is JDK 19 and in my previous tutorial I explained to you how to install JDK 19 okay if you haven't seen that please go to my channel go to the cover Java playlist here you will see playlist cover Java playlist okay in this playlist good please watch this video this one okay first one download JDK and JDK installation step by step so in this video we have installed jdk 19 so now while installation of eclipse okay eclipse captured same jdk okay the jdk which was installed earlier in my c program files okay that that jdk is captured by eclipse now then second thing is that eclipse me eclipse asking me the installation folder okay so i will just choose other folder i will copy this one this path i will copy okay control c control c i will copy this one and i will install this in the c drive okay so let's go to c drive in the c drive program files in the program files okay here okay i will just select this folder and here i will paste the path Control V. Okay, I copied the path earlier, right? Don't forget to add slash here. So now the installation folder for Eclipse is C program files Eclipse in that J double E. Okay, this is the folder where our Eclipse will get installed. Now click on the install. Accept the agreement. Again, it will take. Uh, seven to eight minute okay minimum to install eclipse in our system okay so now our installation is finished okay once installation finished it will show you the button of the launch here okay and we got the shortcut on the desktop as well and in the start menu also okay now click on the launch see now our eclipse is starting now you got the icon on desktop also okay and you got the entry in the 
start menu also right eclipse let me just correct it eclipse okay see now our eclipse is installed successfully okay now second thing is that what we will do we will create one workspace okay workspace means the folder okay where you want to create your project okay so in the eclipse we have to create one workspace okay and in that workspace we will create our first java program okay we will write our first java program now i don't want workspace in the c drive okay so what i will do i will click on the browse and then i will go to the other drive i will go to this d drive okay in the d drive i have one folder okay i will do one new folder here i will just create the new folder for my workspace core java okay eclipse workspace okay eclipse workspace fine this is the folder which i created go inside the folder and click on select button select folder fine now we have to click on the launch so now what happening is that this folder will act as the workspace whatever project i will create inside the eclipse ide okay here ide means integrated development environment okay see to develop different software in the companies uh, we use different type of ide okay so eclipse is one of those so now click on the launch okay so now our workspace is opened now we want to create first java project here right here we want to create first java project so go to the file menu in the file menu go to the other here you can search for java project okay java project see we got the option here select that click on next now give the name to your project so i will just write name like practice okay or core java practice 1 core java practice 1 or core java practice you can give fine core java practice now it is asking me to select the jre okay jre means what java runtime environment in our last session we have installed jdk right so inside jdk we have the jre also so what i will select is that i will select use default jre okay this one this third option because in my computer i already installed jdk 19 right so sorry okay in my uh, computer in my laptop i already installed jdk 19 right so eclipse identified that with that java is installed here okay and then that J, that jdk will come as the default right so now here we are choosing jre okay of the same jdk which i installed earlier if you want to confirm just click on the configure jre okay if you click on the configure jre see it is showing the path of what c program files java jdk 19 right so this is this is installed by me earlier let's cancel this now here we have selected use default jre okay now then click on next what we have done we have given the name of our project project name you can give anything okay then we have selected the default jre okay then click on the next then click on finish then click on open perspective so now our cover java project is created okay cover java practice now in this project i will just write one small java program okay in our second lecture if you go to youtube okay if you check on my channel okay in the playlist if you go in the playlist you have to check cover java tutorial in the playlist okay i will just close this one 
just go to my channel click on the playlist here click on cover java playlist okay in this playlist in this first program right cover java 2 cover java 2 writing first java program so this program was created in the notepad okay when i wrote this java program this program was created in the notepad i wrote this program in the notepad okay and then i compiled and executed the program using the command prompt right in the command prompt so same thing we are going to do here also today also but we will create our program in the eclipse okay and we will execute the program in the eclipse only so let's do that on the src folder just do right click new class okay right click new class here enter any name which you want i will just write name like message display okay message display and i will just give package name like com.sv for sapnil vyavhare com.sv then i have given the class name as what message display is the class name okay now see one of the advantage of eclipse is in our second tutorial we have wrote the main method manually right but here eclipse is giving me the option right that which method would you like to create right and here i got the public static void main string array of args right this method so this is the beauty of eclipse okay that there is no need to write code for this okay eclipse will create the code for you but you just have to select the particular option as per the requirement so what we have done we have given a package name here com.sv then program name or class name you can give anything as per your interest okay then we have selected the main method right then click on finish fine now once you click on the finish right this is the code structure which is generated by eclipse for you right and we want to display one message here right so as we have seen in our second tutorial simply we will write system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln okay in the double quote you have to print the message welcome to first java program okay welcome to first java program control s c now here if you check on the left side right here we have one small star icon it is very small just look at the cursor on the screen okay one small star icon is there the meaning of this star icon is that in this program there are some changes okay which are not saved what i have done i have added this line right i have added added this line it means that this is the change which i have made in this program okay but it is not yet saved that's why eclipse is very intelligent eclipse is showing me some star icon here right star symbol so what we have to do just press control s okay control s once you press control s it will save the changes see now the star icon is disappeared correct so this is the first java program created in the eclipse now to run this program what we have to do if you if you have seen my second tutorial in the second tutorial what we have done firstly we have fired or we have executed java c command right what java c command has done java c command has converted my dot java file okay to dot class file okay and later we have run that that dot class file using the java command right java and class name but in the eclipse there is no need to do that thing okay that thing we have performed in the command prompt correct in the second session in the second session of the java right now here in the eclipse if you want to run simply what we have to do is that just do right click here okay run as java application see we got it right we got the output of our first program on the screen welcome to 
first java program okay so guys in today's session what we have learned is that we have downloaded eclipse ide we have installed eclipse ide and we have created and executed our first java program okay so thanks a lot for watching this tutorial okay and if you like our tutorial please go to youtube and subscribe our channel technical learning for all good morning okay? everyone you can support me okay? welcome to my channel by subscribing my channel you can support me by subscribing my channel okay so thanks a lot jai hind vande mataram take care and bye bye